not matter how and through which organizations we have gathered here. It does not even matter what our individual beliefs are. Our audience is not even the Iranian government, for we do not recognize them as they are a terrorist dictatorship. The one and only reason that has brought us here is to address governments all over the world to use their power and influence to save an innocent human being, one who has been illegally jailed and tortured to death by the Iranian regime for simply posting his opinion on Facebook. We demand that all democratic governments who are in one way or another supporting the Iranian government should stop doing so. This regime has literally taken the people of a country hostage and tortures or, and tortures or issues capital punishment for expressing their opinions. The question is why? Has anybody been executed in your country for a Facebook post? Has anybody been tortured for such a crime? And why are you silent? Why is there no international consensus to condemn the trampling of basic human rights and force the Islamic Republic to stop this imprisonment and torture and to give people their basic right of freedom of speech? Do you know Sohel Arabi? Do you know his crime? Do you know why he has been sentenced to death, a sentence that was increased to 12 years in jail on appeal and why he is now in jail and during torture. So Hale is dying for a Facebook post. Please return So Hale to his young daughter by putting pressure on the Iranian regime in the international arena and by stopping support for the Iranian regime in the international arena. We have seen this before. Please don't let it happen to others. Also, happened to so what happened to others also happened to Sohail. Motion Amir Aslani, the father of a two-year-old child, was executed for doubting the survival of Prophet Jonah in the stomach of a whale. Al Reza Shir Mohammad Mohammadi, another atheist, was killed in prison with thirty knife stabs under the watch of the prison guards. Sattar Zahishti, a web, a web logger, was killed under the torture of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards. If you claim that you respect human rights, the people of the Middle East, Iranians included, are also humans and should have the same basic rights. We demand Sohail's freedom from you.